There was once a senior monk from Bangkok who came to see John Mun. This monk's teacher had been a great admirer of John Mun, but this monk in himself didn't have much use for the forest monks. He didn't see what people sitting out in the forest with their eyes closed would know. Whereas he'd been studying all these books for years and years and years in Bangkok, and lots of well-known scholars, well-known preachers, and there's still a lot that he didn't understand about the Dharma. And so he asked John Mun. He said, when I'm in Bangkok, there are a lot of problems I have, and I don't know who to go to, even though there are lots of people I could ask. But you're sitting out here in the forest all alone. Where do you hear the Dharma? And John Mun's answer was, I hear the Dharma 24 hours a day, except when I'm asleep. The monk was chastised a little bit. This sounds that you really know how to listen. Because the Dharma is broadcasting all the time. It's like a radio station that's always broadcasting 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The truth is out there. The truth is in here, showing itself very clearly. But we're tuned into other stations, stations that dress things up in different ways, to hide the way things are, the stations that tell us you want to find true happiness, you buy our things. Now there's a say, you want to find true happiness, well, you have a relationship. And even though they have to use reality in order to get the message to you, they distort it. And it's up to you to decide which station you're going to listen to, because the drama is always there. The body is always proclaiming its nature. It's in constant stressful, not self. That's the side you can look at that helps to develop some dispassion, because that's what the Buddha said. The highest of all dhammas is dispassion, because that allows the mind to be freed. Now things do have their constant side, and they do have their attractive side, and they have that aspect that's under control. But if you focus on those in the wrong way, you're going to stay a slave to whatever they're trying to sell you, or whatever you're trying to sell yourself. So you learn how to look at things that are constant and under your control so that you can turn them into a path. Because that control is going to be temporary, but you want to make use of it while you can. But always keeping that other station in mind, the one that says you want to go for dispassion. You want to outgrow your attachment to things. It's basically a message to grow up. If you listen to that station all the time, because then your mind is in line with the truth. And when you're in line with the truth, what is there to fear? It's when we go against the truth that there's always that fear that the truth will sometimes show itself. And then what are we going to do? We're not prepared. But if you're with the truth all the time, then there's nothing to fear. So listen to the Buddhist station, listen to the station of the Dharma. It's there to help you see things in such a way that you can make yourself free.